Oh, bro, man. there's nothing else in football, yeah, that gets the same response from the crowd than a nutmeg. There's nothing. To understand, yeah, that him, players like Busquets as well, even when you see Rodri play in one touch most of the game, yeah, it's because their football IQ is so high, yeah, that these men don't need more than one touch, bro. They know where this player's going. They can calculate that, yo, I've got 1.6 seconds now to make a decision to release the ball. These men, the way these men are doing, like, maths yeah. in their brain, yeah, is not normal. That's why most men can't play like that, bro. Because if it was so simple to do these things, yeah, everyone oh. would do it. Because people say that Mike Tyson, yeah, is one of the best boxers ever. But Mike Tyson only had like three good years, blood, in his whole career. And that was enough for man to say, yo, Mike Tyson's one of the best fighters of all time. So why does a footballer need to have a 15-year career, yeah, for man to, to rate them? Foot so do you put VVD in them conversations when he's, when people say best defence like top five in the Prem history and that? Because people No, say no, no. Defense. I don't put Van Dyke in there. The reason why I don't put Van Dyke in there, yeah, is because defensively, I don't think Van Dyke is as good as people say he is. I think as a complete footballer, he's good. On the ball, he's one of the best centre-backs on the ball that man have seen in terms of his ability to spray the ball and his reading of the game and stuff like that. And also, he's a freak of nature athletically. He's like six foot five. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's fast, but, yeah. And he's yeah. quick. Do you know what I'm saying? But most of his defensive qualities, yeah, are, are his physical attributes. They're not necessarily like the reading of the game. It's not really the same at all, bro. Like, yeah. defending in, in the modern game is very much a zonal thing. It, you defend as a team, you press as a team. Do you know what I mean? You just have to be good at anticipation now. Like, whereas back in the day, you was wrestling. You was wrestling with Drogba. Drogba was backing into you, pulling your shirt, ripping you. Like, bro, like, man was really... Man had to defend Shearer and Davis and them man there and Duncan Ferguson that were just climbing all over you and elbowing you and that, like, you actually had to put your body on the line as a defender back in the day. Now, if you're in a good system, you can just be intelligent, step in front and steal a career like Gerard Piquet, bro. Understood that. A lot of these ex-Man United um, players talk about Vidic like he was Rio Ferdinand, bro. Like he was, no, 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 like he was Yap Stam. Yeah, like he was Yap, Yap, Yap Stam. Yap. He weren't Yap Stam. Yeah. Yap Stam is in my, my all-time Man United eleven, and he's in my all-time Premier League eleven because Yap Stam is one of the greatest centre-backs of his generation. Like. Yep, Stam was clear of Vidic, bro. These men talk about Vidic like he was Stam. Vidic weren't Stam, bro. Vidic was that centre-back that you wanted in the trenches with you because he threw his body on the line, in the air, everything like that. He was great. But he was a warrior, bro. He weren't a baller. On the ball, he was whack, bro. The funniest thing about him, yeah, is that I'll see him do things, yeah, and I laugh because I've seen worse. People will look and say, oh, he didn't mean that. And they'll be like, bro, you don't understand, yeah, that Yannick's about 6'2", six 6'2", two, six two, maybe 6'3", six yeah, now, cool, yeah? Cool, but when we were growing up, yeah, he had a growth spurt, bro. Like, when we was at school, we was around the same size for most of the time. And then he just went vroom, like, yeah. late. So he had the same skill when he was smaller. And then obviously now it's just on a, a, a lot taller, like more kind of lankier body. But he's still got feet like a little guy, but he's a big guy. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. it looks mad because he's grown and now seeing him do them skills in a different in a different body, it almost it looks more unorthodox. But he wasn't always that size. Do you see what I'm saying? Some people just have growth spurts. And he had a growth spurt. So I've seen him in a cage, yeah, where we'll be playing and he'll be dribbling up to a brother. And he's literally, yeah, he's dropped a shoulder and then he's just take a man's hat off his head, bruv, like in the middle of the game. And he's got the bread's hat in his hand and the bread don't even realise because the guy's gone for the feint. He just grabbed man's hat. <laughs> and the bread and the bread and he just ran off, bro. Like, oh, so, bro, yeah. you need, so you need to understand, yeah, that, like, he does wild things all the time, bro. Like, I've seen yeah, yeah. him just get the ball, man come to tackle him, and then the ball's up in the air over man's head, and he's laughing while the ball's in the air, and then he just and he just runs off. Like, he does that, bro. Like, when yeah. man's saying that we're playing yeah, the in the park... The oldest tried to kick him up. The oldest tried to boot bro, him up. Bro, killing people, bro. 
Like when they say my man's dribbling and jumping over benches and ducking yeah, under yeah, the yeah. slides and that, bro, that's how we're playing football in the park. Did you know why I say that? Because I, like, as I said, I, I was never Yannick. I'm, I'm not that level, bro. Like, I'm, I'm a skillful you, but bro, whenever you'd skill, and you should know this, man. So whenever you, whenever it was year group, year group ball, and if yeah. you embarrass one of the olders a bit too much, you're getting, you get yeah, it's yeah. It's you're nah, getting, bro. You're getting, you're getting banged. It's you know but trust saying? me, them I, them I will tell you, and that's what it is. In the yeah. ends, man, know who the ballers are. Yeah, yeah, do you know what I'm saying? Like, trust me, with my thing yeah, was just not lot, my thing, my thing was just nutmegs. It was crazy. Like every time, like man would just get in nutmegged. Like anyone that's grown up playing football with me knows that if you're playing, if I'm playing, nutmegs are guaranteed, bro. They're guaranteed. It doesn't matter. I I, I don't remember finishing a game of football without one, at least one. Because I need one. I said I need that. I bro, need bro. That. Bro, I feel Ooh, like, bro, bro, I feel like I have not played well unless somebody gets maked. <laughs> bro, like, bro, I'll be real. Like, I could score a hat trick, and if I don't get a meg, I'm not happy, bro. Because, up, bro, man? there's nothing else in football here yeah, that gets the same response from the crowd than a nutmeg. There's nothing. There's nothing. Not even a goal, bruv. You could score a bicycle kick, bro. You see, when you nutmeg someone and them, man, and you see. Their soul yeah. leave their body, bro. It's crazy. There's nothing it's like it. The best part oh, is, you know, when back, back at Yoko, not meant Kiwio in the Champions League, and you see, and the camera pans to the bench, and everyone's like, this. Yeah. Bro, listen, oh, bro. bro. You see, if you look at Adele Terrap, yeah, and some of the oh, nutmegs, bro. Yeah, all right, and one. you see man get nutmeg, yeah, and you just see other players just like the anguish on their face, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, there's like, nothing yeah. like a nutmeg, bro. Here it's there is nothing like a nutmeg. In football, bro, and for me, that little soul nutmeg, bro, when you just roll the ball with your soul of your foot through someone's legs, it's so rude, bro. That nutmeg there, because defenders always rush in, bear overzealous, and you just roll the ball through their legs just casually, bro. And it's yeah. the best nutmeg, bro, for me. If I can't roll the nutmeg, bro, you grow up on the playground, that's what it's about, bro. All the elasticos and all them things there. They're not exciting like a nutmeg, bro. Like, bro, man, stop the game and pick up the ball when man get nutmeg. I like an elastic though. That's me. I like it. I'll be real. I like yeah, it. I like yeah, it. but so I like the I, I like that move as well. But bro, you when you to... nutmeg, man, man, stop the yeah. game. Yeah, bro, yeah. man, stop the whole game. When you're playing on the road and man get nutmeg, man, pick up the football. Say nah, 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 nah. nah. Game, bro, that's a goal. Yeah, no, I hear it. The whole no, like, game that... stops when you make someone like that. It's no, nasty. I hear it. Nasty work, do you know what I mean? And also, you rattle that player for the rest of the game because now they're worried about getting nutmegged again. Do you know what my thing? Do you know what and then you got them on toast. Do you know what my thing is the turn that, like, to be fair, in the 11 aside, I don't really do it too much anymore because I play too high up the pitch. I play as a false nine now, but like, if like if it's sevens, yeah, so you can kind of maybe be more a bit more flary with your feet and that, yeah, mm. I'll be so real. You see the Tiago turn. It's nasty, player. yeah. It's nasty. It's that's, nasty. You see, that's the that's like your nutmeg to you. Yeah. Tiago turned to me. That like, that turns crazy. But the that, thing is with that, yeah. If you get a proper dickhead, yeah, you'll just claw your ankles off. Yeah, wow. that's and that's yeah, that's what happens to man. That's what happens yeah. to me. I get, I get, I get, bro. Anyone who's played ball with me, what's my, I, I, I get kicked a lot in it. But that Tiago turn, because you know what it is. It's not even mm. when he does it first time. It's when he stops the ball. You know when he kills the ball dead, right? Yeah. You know when he kills the ball and does it. He yep. kills it and goes... And drops the shoulder and spins off. Oh, yeah, it's nasty. Bro. It's nasty. He, when he done it to Madison, oh my, mm. that's the one. He's done it to so many men over the world. He's done it to everyone. But the one mm. he done to Madison, that made me stop and go, I'm going to practice that till I think. I'm going to, I'm practicing. It's bro. nasty. It's nasty, bro. It's, but it's, bro, but it's, that it's, is football. It's, it's so simple, though. It's, it's one of the most simple skills. I it is, see. but then it's not because a, yeah. the, the timing of it is perf you got to perfect the timing. It's perfect, bro. And the thing is, you have to be so sure, yeah, that you understand, yeah. You understand where the player's body weight's going. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You have to understand everything. Big up, Saeed. Because when the ball comes up to you, oh, yeah, no, when the player's coming this way. You need to understand that you're receiving a ball and you have to anticipate that what side that they're coming on and you have to use their momentum to keep them going and then go the other way. So you need to, bro, the timing is key, bro, because if you mistime that, bro, and they nick the ball off you, they're through. 
Because he's doing that in the six, bro. Like, he's not doing that high up the pitch. He's doing that in areas where if he loses the ball... Yeah, you're done. You, bro, you're cooked. Do you know what I mean? And this is what it is. So, man need to understand, yeah, that him, players like Busquets as well, even when you see Rodri playing one touch most of the game, yeah, it's because their football IQ is so high, yeah, that these men don't need more than one touch, bro. They know where this player's going. They can calculate that, yo, I've got... 1.6 seconds now to make a decision to release the ball. These man, the way these men are doing like maths yeah. in their brain, yeah, is not normal. That's why most men can't play like that, bro. Because if it was so simple to do these things, yeah, everyone well, would do it. Yeah, certain men just know like, like they just like, do you know what it is? I call it the, it's the 2020 vision thing where man not there, it's your three steps ahead, the Iniesta, the Javis. I even throw a Pogba in there as well as I still throw a Pogba in there. Conversations were the best. Oh, yeah, he's there, bro. So, so there. Like, and I said, and the reason I throw Tiago in there, and people always laugh at me about the Tiago thing, yeah. I even say, even when the manager banned me about Tiago's fitness, I still say Tiago Liverpool's best midfielder, technically. And it's not, he is. Bro, forget forget fitness. Forget fitness. Tiago, yeah, is one of the best midfielders midfielders of his generation. I don't care about fitness because none of that don't mean anything. That that don't mean nothing to me. Do you know what I mean? Because people say that Mike Tyson, yeah. Is one of the best boxers ever. But Mike Tyson only had like three good years, blood, in his whole career. And that was enough for man to say, yo, Mike Tyson's one of the best fighters of all time. So why does a footballer need to have a 15-year career, yeah, for man to, to rate them? Football is the only sport where man start talking about longevity and, bro. Do you know what I mean? That don't even make no sense, bro. It's either you was good or you wasn't good, bro. So do you put VVD in them conversations when, he's, when people say best defensive, like top five in the Prem history and that? People no, say no, no, no. I don't put Van Dyke in there. The reason why I don't put Van Dyke in there, yeah, is because defensively, I don't think Van Dyke is as good as people say he is. I think as a complete footballer, he's good. On the ball, he's one of the best centre-backs on the ball that man have seen in terms of his ability to spray the ball and his reading of the game and stuff like that. And also, he's a freak of nature athletically. He's like six foot five. Do you know what I'm saying? And he's fast, but, yeah. Um, and he's yeah. quick. Do you know what I'm saying? But most of his defensive qualities, yeah, are, are his physical attributes. They're not necessarily like the reading of the game. Do you know what I'm saying? On the ball, he can play a pingers like 60-yard backspin, that whatever. Mervin, like. way, that, Mervin, that Mervin comment, the stop starting is fucked. Yeah, but, bro, but, that, but, but that's what the best players do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, that's a little man thing, though. That's what their little yeah. short man do. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're over 5.7, you can't play that. Yeah. It's like that That there, you see when you've got the low center of gravity and you can yeah. stop start. In yeah. the same motion, in... it's that little the short man thing, bro. I no, had a yeah, baller in my futsal team called Messi, yeah, that, that we used to call Messi and that Saeed, um, Somalian, you and he was like that stop start, bro. Foot on the ball, drop, drop the shoulder, and he's gone. You get me? He's one of them players, bro. That stop start thing is crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? But Virgil van Dyke, when I, when I think of just pure defensive, um. Defensive attributes. Virgil van Dijk's never played up against, yeah, a proper centre-forward, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's very hard to judge Virgil, bro. He ain't played against a DDA drug, but... Like, defenders used to have to be better back in the day because they actually used to have to play up against players. Now, defending is a team sport, bro. It's a zonal thing, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's not really the same. It's not really the same at all, bro. Like... Yeah. Defending in, in the modern game is very much a zonal thing. It, you defend as a team, you press as a team. Do you know what I mean? You just have to be good at anticipation now. Like, whereas back in the day, you was wrestling. You was wrestling with Drogba. Drogba was backing into you, pulling your shirt, ripping you. Like, bro, like, man was really... Man had to defend Shearer and Davis and them man there and Duncan Ferguson that were just climbing all over you and elbowing you and that, like... You actually had to put your body on the line as a defender back in the day. Now, if you're in a good system, you can just be intelligent, step in front and steal a career like Gerard Piquet, bro. You know, like that. He's another one, bro. He weren't that good defensively. Man United let him go for a reason, bro. Like, he wouldn't have made it at Man United. Not in the Prem, but at Barca. If it was at PK, PK, bro, that guy was out, bro. Defensively, he was whack, man. He was just good on the ball, man. That yeah. was it. One, 1v1 one defenders. Gerard PK was washed, bro. Like, we saw Barcelona play Mascherano at centre-back, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just one yeah, of them it's, ones. It's, where... certain, certain leagues, you can be built a certain way and still be a good But that's what I'm trying to say. Like, 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 
There's Comparing boys. Virgil to ball playing centre backs that also had the physicality is difficult because, like man saying, look at his physicality. Do you think he'd be able to do that, bro? There, there's one thing about being big. You can be big and not be physical. You get what yeah. I mean? Like you can be big and not physical. I guess it's one of those things where, like, because the game changed, you'll never kind of know. It's one of those what ifs things. The one of those what ifs. I think even just away from the defenders, I still think that like. Certain like I, I'm still obsessed with that stop start comment because like there's yeah. so many there's certain man you know who you know who certain man have that Marcus Edwards yeah and he's one of the best yeah. footballers I've seen my two eyes I always say this and I'll never never not say it bro he's one of the best Crazy. footballers ever with my two eyes like I'm yeah. talking he's been like that from young mm. you see you might think oh he's developed you think he's developed that yeah. been like that forever fam you might have been yeah. born like that you might have been born like that there's certain man who if they don't want you to get the ball. You will never see the ball. You're not seeing it. Yeah. If they 100%. don't want you to get the ball, then the only reason you'll ever see them give away the ball is because they're trying to do something inventive. That's mm -hmm. the only reason man lose the ball. There's a certain man mm -hmm. like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That Modric style of dribbling. That yeah, like, 100. You know, yeah, yeah, it's nasty. Yeah, it's nasty. It's, it's, it's nasty. It's, it's dumb and man can't slide. And bro, same with Frankie de Young, bro. He can do it. He can just yeah. put his foot on the ball, drop shoulder, boom, gone. Like, yeah, like yeah, bruv, that dribbling's nasty. The, the one, the man who can just ghost past you at like mm. any pretty much given point, like the Hamjiks, the I know I say Ava Benega, yeah, for Sevilla. Man, I don't know about Benega, but what hey, bro, yeah, feet, blood. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, feet? but bro, yeah, but the thing is, these men are cultured what footballers, but bruv, these men don't exist no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the man don't exist bro. no more, bro. Like, I, I bro, like thinking, man's talking bro. about good defensively. Now, PK was not good defensively, no, bro. I, like, I, I he's remember thinking Benega was washed in it until we bucked Sevilla in, in the Champions League and we were free no up. And I was thinking, this guy's washed. He's not like he used to be. He turned, he he just, bro, single-handedly. By the way, he ended up drawing that game 3-3. Yeah. He single-handedly clicked his fingers. No, as that brother... Brother, you got a brother. You have to see it with your own two eyes, bro. You think I'm talking because I saw him rip up Tottenham? I've seen this from. Uh, I can't even. No, but bro, when you play football, yeah, with players that are absolute ballers, and you understand, bro, is that bro? Man, bro it's bro. different. I played against my man, and I've had to reevaluate myself. Mm. To reevaluate myself, reevaluate, yeah. bro. Ridiculous. Bro, man, is, man, with the Vidic thing, bro, listen, on the ball, Vidic was dead, innit? Like, people like to, like, write, rewrite history, yeah? Vidic was shit on the ball. If you yeah. press Vidic, bro, you could get change. He's a warrior defender, innit? Warrior. Yeah, he's just a warrior defender. Loads of X-Man United players, yeah, try and hype up Vidic, yeah? Like, bro, I'll be honest, the whole time, yeah, when Vidic played for us, I always thought Vidic was good, but Rio was always clear for me. Like, yeah. I always understood, yeah, that, Vidic just done the ugly work, but Rio was the baller, innit? I understood that. A lot of these ex-Man United um, players talk about Vidic like he was Rio Ferdinand. Like he was, no, 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 like he was Yap Stam. Yeah, like he was Yap, 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 Yap Stam. Yap. He weren't Yap Stam. Yeah. Yap Stam is in my, my all-time Man United 11, and he's in my all-time Premier League 11, because Yap Stam is one of the greatest centre-backs of his generation. Like, Yap Stam was clear of Vidic, bro. These men talk about Vidic like he was Stam. Vidic weren't Stam, bruv. Vidic was that centre-back that you wanted in the trenches with you because he threw his body on the line, in the air, everything like that. He was great. But he was a warrior, bro. He weren't a baller. On the ball, he was whack, bro. I remember, man, was clumsy in his pumas but and that. Didn't give... good on the ball them days, bro. No, but he didn't, but, bro, but back if in the day... someone who was competent next to you anyway. But back in the day, football, you used to run more isos in football. Yeah. Now, football is... Very much zonal, yeah, and it's a team you defend as a team. That's why a lot of guys that aren't good defensively can have a career, like Kyle Walker and guys like that, bro. Mm. Like, bro, back in the day, it used to be right back versus left winger. If the right back goes, the left winger goes with him. When the left winger comes, the right back goes back. It was isolation, it was jewels. Now, in modern football, there's no jewels. Village no, used to be 1v1, exactly. So Vidic used to be in 1v1s with strikers and have to wrestle for the ball, win the ball. And he done that. He was a warrior. Do you know what I'm saying? But because, that's why I'm saying with Virgil, Virgil's playing in a zonal era. He's not really being isolated by centre forwards. The same way you don't see Erling Haaland, yeah, 
playing isolation with centre backs and backing into them and all of that, bro. He just drifts in and out in space and scores and that. But if he was playing in the era where centre backs were pulling your shirt and kicking you and all that, bro, he ain't scoring half the goals, bro, because he wouldn't, eat, bro, he wouldn't be allowed to. He'll get dominated out the game. Do you know what I'm saying? When you look at Drogba, Drogba was dominating centre halves, bro. That like, Drogba was making centre halves feel how strikers feel when centre halves are all up on you, blood. If you played up front before and you've had a centre half that's stepping on your heels, pulling right. your shirt, climbing all over you to win headers, the ball's up in the air and the centre halves climbed over you and you got a forearm in the back of your head. Makes if you don't you know about all that, makes you want to ask, ask the ball for feet and not in my hands. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, when you know, when you've played that way, it's a different game altogether. Different game, bro. So seeing Virgil now being able to kind of do the sweeping thing, win the ball, play it out and all that, that's great. But what I'm saying is he's never had to deal with a Drogba. He's never had to deal with a Duncan Ferguson. He's never had to deal with these kind of players. So I don't know how he deals with those players. So it's very hard to he's compare him. He has dealt with the Messi's Ronaldo. He has, he yeah, has but it's a di but it's a different game it's a because di yeah, it's a different game. He he it's a different game because, for instance, I've seen good defenders. Yeah, like Arsenal got probably the best defense in the league right now. Yeah, but I've seen Ivan Tony just mad them up because yeah, well, he's physical with it. You know them ones. So well, it's well. all it's, it's all well and good. It's the situation. Like, it's the, but I, I even say that about guys who, who, for me, doesn't even rank too high for me. It's Black Nunes. Yeah. Nunes is one of those guys who I actually think, even though he's not technically sound, he's probably a striker that probably would have done better about 10 years ago because Nunes yeah. just wants to run and fight. Run, fight yeah. and shoot. The, like, yeah. like, bun the passing thing. Bun the, like Salah said it. Salah, Salah even said in an interview the other day, he was like, Nunes don't really want the ball to his feet like that. No, he, he said, doesn't. He wants it in space. He says he points to the space. He says, give me the ball there and let me shoot. And, that, and it's very simple, three-step football. None yeah. of this give the ball to feet, move it, export the space, move it back. Now I run and then you give it to me. And this comment's not on as well. Rudiger batted up Holland, bruv. Oh, bruv Rudiger, let's, Rudiger, let's see Erling on the pitch like this. Rudiger has a gold tooth. You think I'm Rudiger was Rudiger. climbing all over him, yeah? Like Rudiger slapping is, man in the head. It's centre back where his his Isn't soul it? exists in, in, in 2005, fam. Yeah, that's what Rudiger is, fam. He's cold, but he's actually decent technically as well, you know, underrated. Yeah, technically, yeah, yeah. underrated, by the way. Underrated. But that's what but that's what I'm saying, yeah. That's so it's a different game, bro. Ivan Tony put Saliba in a spliff, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, it's like it's a different style. So did he, he sat down well against them and uh, at, again, uh, oh. but that's what I'm trying to say. So it's a different style of football, so it's very it's very difficult, yeah, to say, yo. The only way, yeah, you can judge players fairly is who they've played against. That's the only thing you can do. You can't do like for like because it's different eras. But when you look at the strikers that Ferdinand and these men played against, they're way better than the strikers that Van Dijk's ever had to play against. And this and this I, is just I, I what it is. Some of them, I also say that feel, unless it's like Rio and Stam, I feel like some of the centre backs because of how rigid today's formula is in football. I feel like some men would have struggled today in how rigid. Oh yeah, yeah, they would have struggled. Someone like a Carragher doesn't play in a modern game. Not of course because again because you have to be good at football. You actually have to be yeah. good at football. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's why there's men that are good at football that are actually shit defenders because you're an athlete and you're you're you can play all right football. You're there. Mm. Yes, no, hundred percent. Stuff this, bro. Once you're an athlete, once you're an actual athlete, you're, you're there, there, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. So it's but that's what I'm saying because you, you have to look at a lot of these guys of the yesteryear, yeah. And it's like when you look at them technically in the modern game, yeah, they they probably they probably wouldn't survive here. But then the defenders, especially the defensive players in the in back in the day, were more physicality than technicality, in it. Mm. They were. So most of them don't survive in this game. But then when you look at like the attacking players, the attacking players were a lot more technical than they are now. A lot yeah. more technical a lot and not a lot more PMP in the end. No, attack. less physical but more technical. Do you no, know I'm what I'm saying? The, attack the attackers are more are more pace and power than technical. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Whereas back in the day, they were more technical than pace and power. Hundred percent FF Lequip. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. Not even close. Yeah, Hippia was way better. Don't technically, like technically uh, everything like that. He was, he was, he was. Because remember, I'm a young, slightly younger Liverpool fan, in it. So Hoopy is actually. 
arguably, is he the pop before like Van Dijk and that? Or is he the best Liverpool centre back I've seen? Really? Yeah, yeah you'd have, you'd have, you'd have to say for that area, for that yeah, era, he was the best centre back you had. Yeah, because he was the best centre back in that era. Everyone else that came after him weren't mm. as good. Daniel Agger was the next best, and that says it all. And then we mm. go to the Van Dykes. The yeah. Van Dykes. So yeah, you, you probably say Hope is the best Liverpool centre back I've had to. Yeah. To, yeah, 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 hundred percent. Yeah, bro. Listen, players are a product of their eras, bro. A hundred percent, they are, bro. The fact that Shaq, yeah, couldn't take free throws, and then you see what Giannis is doing now, like it don't make sense. Like everyone will agree, they'll say that Shaq's the most dominant, the most dominant player of his era, and all these other things. But bro, man couldn't shoot free throws, blood. And then you see what Giannis is doing. Giannis is take is shooting threes, bro. That Giannis has got a jumper now. And Giannis never had a jumper before. So, but does that mean that Giannis is better than Shaq? Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's like, bro, I'll be honest, like, it's different eras, isn't it? Certain things you can get away with in certain areas. Um, and certain things you can't. But there still has to be, there still has to be a balance, bro. And, and in football, for me, yeah, technical ability translates through like through throughout the generations throughout the eras like you can't see george best yeah dribbling on them dead pitches and think that he wouldn't be cooking people now because he would oh, do you yeah. know what i'm saying the one thing yeah that translates throughout eras is is technical ability everything else is subjective yeah. like physicality for instance like virgil his technical ability back in the day yeah would have stood him out but then his lack of physicality might have been a weakness at the time I think Might have been. I think he would have adapted because man would have. Well, exactly. Him. Well, he exactly. Would you would think that if he was raised in that era, he would have adapted because he would have had no choice. Mm. Do, you, do you see what I'm trying to say? But it's all it's all hypothetical. It's all hypothetical. That's like me saying if Shaq was playing now, he would have had a free throw and he would have had a jump shot. He probably would have had one because he would have had to have one. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? So. This is why when you're comparing people from different eras, yeah, it's important to make sure that it's not too far away, blood. It has to be like, you almost need to be looking at 10-year increments, bro, because the sport changes so much.